No, I, I, I think, first of all, we, we have to admit that we were second best in this game by, by far. Um, good game from England and starting with just con congratulating them with a good performance uh, before we talk about us. Um, no, I think it, it, was a, it was a lot of things. First and foremost, I think it's confidence in decision making, uh, initiative, uh, that was the big difference between the teams. I know the individual quality, we, we can talk about that, but when you when you are defending in a collective way, you need to take decisions, you need to believe in in action and a reaction. And I think we were not good at this comparing England coming from a, a, a good Euro, coming from winning the under-21, um, you know, all their passes, all their movements, all the decisions were taken in the belief that it will be successful. Whether I felt like us were kind of always hesitating, uh, especially for me looking at the defensive, you know, jumping, pressing, etc. It was like more individual actions instead of a collective. Um, the same, same decision making, confidence taking. Um, you know, for example, when we had the the, the chance to cross. We didn't take it. When we had the chance to shoot, we didn't take it, but we got into good positions. Uh, and it was kind of the, I would say, the lack of confidence to take the, the decision to do things. I think that was the big difference for me uh, in this team. I, I know they, they played better. They, they probably have, you know, they have all the, the experience from the Euros being together for a long time. So it's, it's a team that knows each other quite well. Um, so. No, for me, that's the big, biggest difference. That lack of confidence, perhaps understandable, considering some of the results that they have gone through over recent years. How do you correct that? How do you give them that confidence off the back of another disappointing result? Yeah, I think to be consistent. Now, we, we, we've played a good team, really good team. Uh, they exposed our weakness, so we can use a lot from this game, you know, not take, talking about all the negatives, we can show them or we can do this better, you know, because we didn't do this, this happened, etc. So I think for one, it gives us an opportunity to to look at what we are doing. Two things, you, you can react in two ways. When you lose a game, you can restart, do something totally different next time, then I will probably not get you anywhere. But we tried to do something and I think we, we did the second half much better than the first half. It was more initiative. We. We got a little bit higher. We were more compact. Maybe easy to say when you when you are winning 2-0, you probably take the, the the foot off the, the the gas a little bit. But I think we can we can learn from this, grow from this, and improve step by step from what we were doing instead of changing personnel or changing formations next game. How did you feel the five at the back worked tonight? No, we. Given that we had five at the back, we were too open. If you see the first goal, it's just uh, a pass through the heart of the team. Should never happen uh, at any level of football. So internationally, you, you, you're unhappy. But you know, if you were playing the youth football, you would still be unhappy with a goal like this. Second goal was a given goal. I think four, five, six given goals um, through us uh, again shouldn't happen at, at this level. So it's things that you know because of lack of initiative, closing, taking the steps, uh, we, we conceded like we, we did. So we just need to improve from that. Dennis Bowman, please. Maybe for all the lessons we learned from, from today, the players almost have to forget about today going into Tuesday's game. Yeah, correct, correct. Um, we, we really wanted to have good results against England, um, but I think most of us are unhappy that we wanted a better performance. Um, so, and we, we talked in the, in the dressing room, now let's, let's try to look positive on the next two games. You know, this was a negative. We, we cannot carry that into the, the game against Greece. Greece has shown that they play good against Ireland, so they have the upper hand. So we need to change that. And so we can't be crying until we play Greece. We need to kind of energise, use every moment to, to be ready for that one. Hi, Hamer. Was that your team selection and formation, or was it John's, or how was the division? No, like, like we said in the beginning, um, we're all in it together. 
but for sure I need a lot of help uh, in the first one or two camps, uh, not knowing the characters of the players. But I'm learning as we go. Hopefully I will, I will have maybe more authority when time goes on, but I really like the, the staff, John and Paddy have been fantastic, big support and, and, the, and the backroom staff as well has been fantastic and I'm, I'm so grateful, I'm so happy I'm here because we will grow for sure. Okay. And for clarity, do you expect to have more control or more input into team selection and formation selection going forward? Is that I hope so. Yeah. I hope my knowledge on, on, on the players and the culture and, and uh, yeah, of Ireland in general will, yeah. will, will grow. Uh, but listen, when you come to a new culture, when you come to a new culture, you, you cannot think you can change everyone, in my case, to, to an Icelandic. You, you have to adapt to the culture, to the players, to what they have been doing and using what is good is also when you come into a new environment and you start to change things because you like it in a, in a certain way, you cannot do that. You have to first see what is good and what is bad before you change it. So my, my learning now is to see you know, what is good, what, what we can change, etc. So I would say 95% of the things I see here is, is, is quality, absolute quality. You can change a lot then, based on what you saw there. And, uh, and now, now I'm talking about the staff. In no, game. Sorry, do, you, do, you, do you feel like you have to change a lot of how the team is set up having watched that? Absolutely team? not, no. It's a really good set, set up from, from the FAI and, and the staff no, around. When I say set up, I mean formation. Ah, you're talking about formation? Yeah, sorry. sorry, sorry, I misunderstood. Nope. I've said again and again, formation for me is, is irrelevant. Is it irrelevant what formation you, you, you play? Um, it's about fitting the players you have. It's about the opponent you play. Sometimes you expect to have more ball possession. You probably would like to have more players up front. Sometimes you expect to have less ball possession. You probably need more protection. So you need to be ad adaptable on that one. Ed, please. Um, so I suppose I'm just wondering, were you tempted at any stage to just go back to a flat back four? Or was, was there not enough time just to, to sweep? It was just would have been too confused to try and do that and maybe even too late at half time? Yeah, we talked about at half time, do we want to change a formation? Uh, and we had in mind what we could do, at, uh, but we decided to try to improve instead of jumping from one thing to another. Maybe that would have hurt us more, I don't know. Uh, but I think we did much better second half with a little bit of uh, more initiative, uh, you know, more brave coming a little bit higher up on the pitch. So we were, we, were, we were happy with the second half. Like I said before, it's easy when your opponent is winning 2-0. You don't know if it's because they backed off or we did better. So. And just in terms of, you said before the game, again, it was just a couple of things that you really wanted to uh, emphasize to the players of your way, um, even though you couldn't do too much. Um, do you think the players responded well to that and were you happy with some aspects of the, of the play? Yes and no. Uh, like, like always, you're happy with some things, you, you, you're not happy with other things. Um, listen, England played well. And I don't think the formation would have mattered. Uh, I don't think you know, who, who the players were would have mattered. Uh, it was just, I think, this lack of taking an initiative believing in what we are doing would be successful. Hopefully going forward, there will be better belief uh, in, in the things that we, we plan to do. But at the moment, I can understand it, the difference between these two teams. Hamir, yeah. uh, hey, you spoke about wanting your players to make life difficult for the players in the other team and make them uncomfortable. There were a few points, particularly in the first half, when the crowd seemed to be getting a bit um, frustrated that, that with the amount of time England had in the ball. Were you satisfied with the intensity that your players brought to the game today? Yeah, I think so. It's easy, easy to stand on the sidelines and, and shout, go, 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 when England played us through. So we were running a lot without ball possession. So, um, yeah, I, I could understand and I can understand the crowd. And I have to give them a, a lot of respect and thanks for showing up in numbers and the support throughout the game, even though uh, we were we were losing 2-0. They, they kept on cheering us on. Really like that. But yeah, for sure, I understand that there was 
at times the players were tired. So what do you do when you're tired? You you kind of go in compactness. You don't allow them to play through you while you're tired, and then you get your energy back and you go go and press. So I think it's understandable. Currently, you just